Hi, in this video, we'll talk about checked versus unchecked exceptions. Okay, so till now we discussed about exception inside that we have, uh, we discussed about exception and error. So all these things, right? So, but suddenly we are talking about checked versus unchecked exceptions. So exceptions are categorized into checked and unchecked that we saw in one of our previous slides or videos. Uh, that uh, when we're discussing about exception versus error, right, check and check type. So that we are going to discuss in detail here. So when you move forward, first we need to remember one thing, checked and unchecked, both exceptions will occur at runtime. Okay, checked and unchecked, both exceptions will occur at runtime. That information we need to remember. Then we'll talk about the checked type. So the checked exceptions are those exceptions which are checked by the compiler for the smooth execution of the program. Okay. The compiler checks whether the program can handle the checked exception or not. If the code is unable to handle the exception, there occurs a compilation error, right? There occurs a compilation error. All the subclasses of class exception, except the runtime exception class are the checked exceptions. Okay. So what exactly we are discussing here? So the checked exceptions will occur at compile time. It means compiler will check and it will throw. So what exactly happening at the compile time only if there is no handling code, okay? So what exceptions comes under checked exceptions? Except the runtime exceptions, remaining all comes under checked exceptions, okay? So this is called checked type. Checked exceptions are those exceptions exceptions which are checked by the compiler for the smooth execution of the program. The compiler checks whether the program can handle the checked exception or not. If the handling code is not there, then it will throw a compilation error. So except the runtime exception, all other exception comes under checked type. Okay. So unchecked type. So unchecked exceptions are those exceptions which are not checked by the compiler. Okay. The compiler compiles the program successfully even if the exceptions are not handled by the code. What kind of exceptions? Unchecked exceptions. The class error and its child classes, the class runtime and its subclasses are the unchecked exceptions. So in our previous slide, what we said, except runtime exception. So that comes under unchecked. Apart from this runtime, error category also comes under unchecked type. Okay, these both comes under unchecked type. These are not checked by the compiler. If you have that in issue also, it will compile without any issues. Right. So now you take an, a diagrammatic way of this representation. So if you see here, I have created throwable, right? This is the super class for exception. So inside this, you have exception and error. So in the exception, you have multiple exceptions like SQL, IO, interrupted, etc. But I separated this runtime exception from this category because these are all checked type. But coming to the runtime exception error, these two comes under unchecked type. Right. Even though this is an exception, but this comes under unchecked type. Error by default unchecked type. Okay. If somebody asks, what is checked exception, except runtime exception and its subclasses, remaining all comes under what? Checked exceptions. What is unchecked type or unchecked exceptions? So runtime exceptions and its child classes all comes under unchecked exception and error is unchecked type. Okay. This is what we need to explain when, when somebody asks about checked and unchecked exceptions. Okay. Now we'll see the difference between these two. Okay. So compiler checks the checked exceptions. Okay. Compiler will check the checked exception, but coming to the unchecked exception, compiler does not check. Okay. So except runtime exception and its child classes, comma, error and its child classes remaining all are checked exceptions. And the reverse of this runtime exception and its child classes, error and its child classes are unchecked type. There is a typo. 
So this is unchecked type. Okay, let me correct this. So you can see now, right? And child class are unchecked type. These are checked type. If programmer does not handle the checked exception, then the compiler objects. It will it will tell you. It it objects you that there is an issue. But coming to this one, the compiler does not object. It will compile no problem. If you have unchecked exception or unchecked type also, program does not compile if there is an unhandled checked exception. So program compiles successfully even there is unhandled unchecked exception. There is no need to. handle here but here you need to handle otherwise it will throw a compilation issue so examples from the checked exception are sql exception i o exception here arithmetic exception assertion error okay these are difference between checked and unchecked exceptions okay so before going to that we'll see with the help of one example we'll see one checked exception and unchecked exception so let me go to visual studio code so here i created one class called check exception example so inside this i have written one program this we already saw very long back as part of scanner class so the same code i copy pasted here so what i am doing here i am trying to read the data from one of the text file called data.txt that is there in this location okay that is there in this location so i am telling that the, this is the path of my file from here you read and if there is how many lines are there you just keep you know print those lines that is what the intention of this so if i go back to command prompt if i try to execute this okay so java c i am just compiling now okay dot java java c check exception example dot java so obviously you will get an issue so when you go up now what it is saying it is saying so file i don't know what exactly this file is so this file from where it has to come it has to come from these packages right java.util and java.io so scanner comes from util and the file comes from the java data that is what it is saying so that i imported now we try to execute this again now you see that unreported exception file not found exception must be caught or declared to be thrown okay so it is saying file not found exception right but this file is there You see that this location I have that file. Even though I have file, it is objecting. Right? There is no issue. Nothing. File is there. I am writing the the entire code is proper code. No error code. This is even though it is objecting. Right? So now you need to understand one point we said. Right? That is both exceptions are you know. Check and then check. We will, you know, all comes at runtime only. So why? Because even though if the file is there, it is giving me file not found exception. So if the file is there, it should not write normally. That is what, you no, know, theoretically if you talk about. But even though Java, what it is doing, even though file is there, it is saying file not found exception. Why? So intention of this is when you deal with these kind of means when you deal with any file. there might be a chance that you might miss that file in that location it got deleted because of so many reasons we don't know right that is what the intention so this exception you will get if the file is there or if the file is not there in both the scenarios you will get the same you know like exception but the intention is there might be a chance there might be a chance that file may not available so that time you will face some issue so take care of these things that is what it is warning us so that is called checked exception it checked that okay you are dealing with some files if you are dealing with some files means there might be a chance that file may not be available in the run time 
If that is not available, your program will not execute smoothly. So I am telling you, take care of this. That is what checked exception. Okay. So when you talk about uh, unchecked exception, okay. So a simple program. What I am doing system dot out dot println one by zero. I have given one by zero. So obviously one by zero means it's an exception kind of right. So what you do? You try to execute this. You try to compile this now. First Java C. You see that compiled successfully. Even though in normal way one by zero means it will be infinity, right? We cannot count that. We cannot get the output of that. But theoretically, means uh, syntactically, if you talk, if you uh, see that syntax, it's a two by three, one by three, one by zero, two by zero. So it, it doesn't see any differences there. You are dividing. You are using division. That's it. Okay. So that is the reason it will it will not you know give any exception when you compile. Okay. But when you run this one. Now it will throw an exception that exception in thread main Java dot lang dot arithmetic exception divided by zero. So divided by zero is an exception, right? In mathematics, so that is because of that it is saying arithmetic exception divided by zero, right? Where it is coming in this class unchecked example dot main method in the main method in the line number three, right? So this is. Not checked by the compiler, so because of that, it 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 is treated as unchecked exception. Okay, this is one of the examples. How you will handle all these things that we will discuss in our upcoming videos. But here I am just showing you how checked exception, unchecked exceptions will look like, and when you execute, how the behavior how the output will be. Okay, so that's all about checked and unchecked exceptions in Java. So what could be the possible interview questions from here? So what is checked exception? What is unchecked exception? Difference between these two? Can you name few checked exceptions? Can you name few unchecked exceptions? In which category error will come? Unchecked type, right? So these type of questions we you may face. Okay. So that's all in this video. Thank you.